Hi there, Teardrop and Tiny tra Travel Trailer fans. Uh, I'm Captain Telescope and I'm here to uh, give you a quick tour of the NC machine and then we're going to uh, trace the outlines of my cabin so that I can do a cardboard mock-up on this sheet of plywood that the camera's sitting on. So anyway, let me just show you around a little bit real quick. This is uh, this is a look at the uh, NC machine. I've got a, I've got this piece of plywood here that we're going to uh, draw lines on, and uh, it's a uh, gantry type uh, CNC router. Uh, it, it's made by CNC Router Products Company. They're up in the Seattle area, and they they offer this this machine as a kit. It's uh, mostly aluminum uh, extrusions. Uh, we've got uh, the, the nice pretty red uh, welded steel gantry riser that, that gives it quite a bit of strength. Uh, normally it has a uh, ordinary router motor uh, hooked up over here to uh, do the cutting. and. Uh, then we have the gantry that allows the uh, tool to go from side to side and then we have on each end of the gantry we have a uh, uh, x-axis drive that moves it uh, left to right as we're looking at it right now. Uh, the piece of software that controls the machine uh, is, is uh, one that's widely used by hobbyists and others. Uh, the, the program is Mach 3 and uh, uh, it, it controls the machine by connecting to the electrical box here on the back through the parallel port and uh, that's what makes it go. I'm going to set the machine up to uh, do the drawing. First thing we got to do is uh, tell the machine where our origin is, and um, that's going to be this corner of the plywood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring the axis up here, and uh, and we'll set the zeros, and uh, we'll begin. The machine is quite quiet uh, unless the uh, router is running, and then it gets noisy. There's my laser pointer that's pointing to where the uh, router spindle or the uh, magic marker is going to be. And we want to get that right here on this corner. So we'll go this direction a little bit. Crunch. I'm going to sneak up on my uh, origin point here by going into incremental jog. And then we're going to take baby steps. It's going to be uh, close enough for the girls I go out with. Okay, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. We are ready to rumble. Uh, I'm going to uncap my, uh, my magic marker and we're going to draw on this nice new clean sheet of plywood here. And uh, we're going to uh, trace the outlines of the inside of the cabin so that I can uh, build a cardboard mock-up. So, here we are. <coughs> and 
And I'm going to push cycle start and grab the camera to get it out of the way. Uh, where's the mouse? <clears throat> I do that a lot. Here we go. We are now uh, tracing the uh, outline of the headliner of the cabin. This is not the, not the roof, this is the inside, the ceiling. And uh, we're traveling along at the uh, blistering pace of 100 inches a minute. And as you can see, we're leaving a nice bold line as we go. Unnecessary zoom. funny noises you hear is the sound of the motors changing speed as it uh, draws this curve. Okay, now we're going to come down here and we're going to draw the, um, the position of the aft bulkhead. Again, this is on the cabin side. It's, it'll be three-quarter inch plywood. Uh, on that side of the line and it goes all the way up to the ceiling and then some and now we're going to draw uh, the cabin cabinets Just as you saw in my drawing. And the bottom of the cabinet where I Fear I will be hitting my head quite often, so that whole thing might be uh, in for a redesign. Now we're coming over here and we're going to draw where the door opening is. And if everything is just right, and the marker didn't turn, and the stars are in alignment, then we should end up with the two ends of the line meeting. And eh, not bad. All right. Uh-oh. Now, I'm going to have a, um, a, um, little compartment in the front here and a, a headboard that um, 
marks the end of the head end of the bed, of course. And uh, I wanted to draw this out good so I could uh, play with that. And next coming up is the floor line. And that should be roughly three quarters of an inch. Which would mean, you know, the floor comes right to the edge of the plywood, or the plywood comes right to the bottom of the floor. And uh, this will be our last line, and then we'll, uh, I'll take it off of here and we'll see how it looks. Okay, that, yeah, that's all folks.